Greetings, fellow investigators, and welcome back to our video podcast, Into the Darkness, where my friends and I play the Call of Cthulhu role-playing game. I'm your host, Tom Rayleigh. The scenario is Genius Loki. Uh, it is from the collection Doors to Darkness. It was written by Brian Countermatch. It's available on the Chaosium website. Our game master is Keith Craig, and this is episode two. I will be giving the recap tonight. So without any further delay, let's continue our journey into the darkness. <laughs> There is a freedom uh, we hold dear here in the Commonwealth, the freedom to pursue the beliefs and practices of our various faiths. Indeed, this country was founded upon the principles that one should be allowed to do and say whatever one wished, as long as one was not violating the freedom of others or threatening violence against those who disagree with us. I myself am an artist, and I cannot imagine being in a place that restricted my self-expression. Such a thing would be abhorrent to me. But that is what now has befallen our friend Lawrence Croswell. Lawrence is a man of, shall we say, a fanciful nature. He pursues things outre and occult in the hopes of glimpsing something supernatural in a mundane world. On more than one occasion, he has told us strange experiences that he has had. And while we all listened, we did not really consider that he was being truly serious. Well, now he has gone and gotten himself into a situation that is truly serious. We received two letters from him. And actually, our friend Donnie Barton received the letters. And he called us all together to discuss the situation. Ophelia Olson was there, resplendent in her Christian Dior evening gown. There was Harry, uh, Hank Collins and Alex Stout as well. The first letter told us of his predicament, that he had checked himself into the state lunatic asylum at Danvers for some rest and relaxation, but that they were now refusing to allow him to leave. He begged that we would intervene on his behalf, and so we made plans to visit. But shortly thereafter, a second letter arrived, more official than the first, attempting to nullify his previous request, saying that it had been written during an anxiety attack. But in the end, we decided that a short visit would be in order, and we drove to Danvers the next morning. The hospital hmm, has an imposing structure. Designed by Nathaniel Bradley back in the 1850s, with lots of bric-a-brac and little fiddly bits that one instinctively dislikes, and that gives one an overwhelming feeling of being watched. The inside is just as bad, but with the added smells that one would expect from a house of lunacy. We managed to speak with Lawrence's physician and alienist, Dr. James Berger, about the case, he told us everything had been going well until Larry had attacked two orderlies. He had become quite violent and had been moved to the J ward with other dangerous inmates. Needless to say, we were appalled and demanded to see him. It took some time, but the length, uh, but at length, we were allowed to speak with him. I cannot tell you how horrendous were the conditions in which he lived. Something needs to be done about this place. Now, I realize they are limited, especially in dealing with the violently insane. But Lawrence should not be in amongst these lunatics. He denied any kind of violence, and we became aware that he was terrified of the orderlies. We were quite shaken ourselves and resolved to, con to contact our lawyers upon leaving the hospital. We thought it wise to remain in Danvers until this business was resolved, and at Miss Ophelia's suggestion, we re relocated ourselves to mm, the smokehouse, a rather modest little inn run by a quaint little woman named Angela. We rented a couple of rooms and enjoyed a rather pleasant meal, despite the weight of our current situation. One final thing, though. We kept getting the feeling that we were being watched. 
On more than one occasion this day, we had caught a glimpse of people staring at us, almost as though they recognized us. It was quite unnerving, and I must admit there were moments when I felt as if I had seen them before, too. You know, deja vu. This whole situation has become quite off-putting, and I hope we can resolve it quickly. Keep. All right. So the uh, guys uh, maybe didn't get the best night's sleep. Uh, the nightmares that you had, some worse than others, uh, definitely kept you tossing and turning. You wake up, uh, the uh, bed sheets are, are a mess, and uh, a lot of them are, are wet, probably from uh, sweat, sweating through the, the night. But April 21st, uh, Dawns, it is a uh, rather beautiful, beautiful day up in the Northeast. Okay. Is there they serve breakfast at this place? Probably some oh. horrible continental thing. Oh, uh, yes, yes. I'll make my way downstairs to see if anybody's doing anything. You make your way down. Of course, there's uh, some people queued up to... Uh, to check out and they do you do smell uh a breakfast cooking sounds like smells like a uh, coffee probably been uh on the uh, burner too long apparently they don't understand true hospitality i'll go in and i'll sit down and get a cup of coffee and is anybody else down there i will have i will make my way down as well yeah i'll be i'll be going down as well Absolutely. I'll probably have been already down there having a cup of coffee and a cigar, just uh, feeling like crap this morning. I'll feel you, my dear. You look radiant this morning once again. Oh, thank you, Alton. I feel uh, it. Well, not really. Do you, carry, do, you, do you carry your wardrobe with you wherever you go? Um, of course I do. Of course you do. Of course I do. Oh, there's the others. Oh, good morning, everyone. And you good see morning, uh, uh, yeah. someone comes along and they uh, they take your order. And of course, if you want coffee, they're uh, more than happy to uh, to pour it pour it for you. Oh, thank you. God. So, my friends, what's our plan of attack today? Uh. This Alex, is something I've been mulling over for quite some time. Alex, have you gotten a hold of your lawyers? Uh, well, we got in late last night. I didn't get a chance to uh, get a hold of everybody. Anybody. It's perhaps it's a bit early. When do lawyers start to work? Two o'clock in the afternoon or something like that? Well, the really, really good ones actually start working early in the morning. So I will go give a, I'll, I will after breakfast go up and give a call to a couple of People I know that specialize in this these particular cases. Uh, anyone else we... have a horrible sleep? Did anyone else? Except yeah, it's not very nice sleep. No, but then again, the sheets are I think the muslin or something. They're really scratchy and uh, not very pleasant. Not very at all. I never sleep well in strange places. I, I, I was up by five this morning and going for a walk. I sleep well when I get home tonight. I don't was there anything, sleep well in familiar places. Was there anything to see on your walk, Donnie? Well, it's pretty country over here. Hmm. But uh, not much to speak of. Everybody's just getting up and about their day. Uh, Donnie, I'm, for for the walk, give me a spot hidden on that one, since you took a walk. And we'll... Sure. Oh, uh, 27 out of 55. 27 out of 55. Okay, so uh, it's a hard. Okay, so you're, you weren't sure about it, but as you were uh, walking along, you did notice one of the puddles on the, uh, on the street had almost like a... Uh, a bluish tint to it, and it definitely was not deep enough to 
been naturally. And uh, with the hard, it reminded you of the uh, the watercolor at that was on the uh, hospital grounds. Bo? Well, you know, now that I think about it, there was some interesting colored water out there. I'm not sure what it's... Uh, I know you have a taste for design. It was, it was kind of reminded me of the, some of the watercolors we saw back the, uh, back over Danvers. Oh, this semi unsettling. Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps, perhaps the artist was really good at capturing something about the, uh, the local palette or palette. How do you say that? Palette. Palette. I, I'm thinking that perhaps we're all just overwrought with this, uh, it's not every day that you walk into an asylum and see crazy people. Uh, I think actually it is almost every day that I walk into one. I suppose it is for you, <laughs> isn't it? Yes. Crazy. Yeah, it should be just a walk in the park for you. I could but not do your no job, Donnie. But um, I, I, I'm not overly concerned with the facility itself. It's, it's, that, it's that Dr. Berger. I, 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 I swear he just wasn't. He, he was making shit up as we went. No. I, uh, Which is why I've been milling around some rather, dare I say, not so legal ideas. What what sort of ideas are you thinking of, uh, police detective uh, <laughs> Collins? Off the record. Off the record. Badge in back pocket. Um, we might want to sneak into Berger's office somehow. Oh my, what, what are you? That's unspeakable. No, no, I will I, not I, be a part of that. I, I couldn't do something like that. I'd lose my, my ability to, uh, to work around mm. these people. Well, Donnie, is there any way, as another doctor, that you can insist on seeing the files of a patient that's I, not yours. I really don't have any authority over this over this facility. This is really uh, Burgess I, Hospital, isn't it? it? It really is. I mean, it, where I where I work back at Fernald, I, I mean, I, I care for for youth. I mean, quite frankly, they look at it as a pretty far stretch. Maybe we're misunderstanding something. If Berger himself is in charge of the entire facility, as he said to us, he has thousands of patients, then maybe he doesn't know any of them very well. Perhaps there are other doctors that know the case better. You know, he there must be right other doctors him. working underneath him. Oh, you know, undoubtedly, he's got some more people working in there. That's true. They can't all be just orderlies. Uh, speaking of the orderlies, I got the distinct impression that uh, Larry was afraid of the orderlies. And I'm wondering Definitely. if the orderlies are misusing their powers. Oh, it's it's not something I've not heard of. What do you say, Don oh, Donnie? Um, have you heard of orderlies misusing their I think that kind of thing is exceptionally rare. Yeah, these facilities are designed and operated with the best of intent. Uh, now, any big institution could have a bad actor in it, but no, these, these facilities are typically beyond reproach. I suppose that's fair. The, uh, what I, since you happen to mention the, the potential to be other, um, maybe therapists in the building, it's possible someone that I work with over at Fernald would be familiar with the, the people serving here uh, and might have an in there. Uh, it's a bit of a stretch, but I could try making some calls. Okay. It's, um, it's an odd facility, don't you think? The way that it's sort of spread out. It must, not, it must make it awful if you have to get from one end to the other. Why didn't they cluster the buildings together better? It's... Strange. Well, I think seg segregation is probably really good for the population. Keep everybody isolated in their own pockets. Well, can't you do that with locks and keys and doors and things like that? Sure. Sure. I personally think the building's beautiful. 
Mm. Gets me to creeps. Well, I'm not sure what move we can make. It's short of, we certainly aren't going to sneak in there and spring him out. I'm not sure that would even be possible with all of the guards, and it's not like they all go to sleep at midnight. And well, they have shift changes at least, but who knows? That could just be a split moment or two, not enough time to get past. Well, yeah. It's and not what like... if we do break him out, and it turns out that he is crazy, and we just let lunatic go out. Uh, then we'd go to jail for an awfully long time, wouldn't we? Oh, yeah. God, there's got to be some... Larry, I just don't can't believe he's crazy. I, just I can't, can't either. It might be that we simply have to go through the legal means. I see a man who's desperately frightened. Unless we go back there and we just talk to the doctor and vouch for Larry, say so there's been some horrible mistake. Or we could do something where some of us will actually talk to him and uh, we split up in teams. Um, me being with my detective self, I'm more than willing to, with your help, Hank, go snooping around or, or looking around while we actually tackle this situation in different ways. Go on. I'm just saying that, like, I don't find this Mr. Berger to be a reasonable sort of person. And I do believe that there's some funny things going on and they're just not gonna give us any more information, I think, if we go in there. In fact, they might be even more suspicious of us. However, since Donnie is an actual doctor, let's have Donnie speak with Mr. Berger, see, see what he can drum up. And maybe a couple of us will go and see if we can sneak around and find the other things that are afoot there. Well, it is Donnie who was the one that found out, well, he suspects that Dr. Berger was not on the up and up. Yes, and something wasn't right there. Something definitely wasn't right. I, and, and, and I'm all for going back and trying to speak to him, and, and at the very least, seeing if he'll let us be more involved with the ongoing care so we can communicate more freely with Larry and make whatever appeals I can and see if maybe there's more that we can intuit about you know, why Dr. Berger would even bother, you know, trying to deceive us. Perhaps, Donnie, you're best qualified for that. Maybe he's intimidated when there's four other people there with you. Whole group barging into his office during work time. You're a doctor. Well, you're, are you, what are you? You're, you're a, I, I'm more of a therapist, but I appreciate you thinking of me as a doctor. You're you're the smartest one of all of us. Except for uh, you, Ophelia. Oh, oh, oh thank you. Lord. Oh, the uh the waiter comes back and uh he's like uh are are we all 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 finished here? I think so. Thank you very much. Oh, Thank it's you. it's no problem, no problem. You know what time time lunch is? Same time it always is. He w- kind of walks up, walks off. Mm. I'm gonna make a couple calls to find out about some lawyers. Um, okay. That specialize Oten. in this type of case. Oten. Yes, I think um, you might be thinking what I'm thinking. Why did that man just say? Ah. Lun- because we're in an inn. They don't serve food all day. They serve thin o- no, food but, only at certain times. Yeah, but as if he know, we know what time it is. Well, oh, we are staying in an inn. <sighs> but, that was very odd. familiar. Yeah, it's very familiar. As if we were one of the regulars already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what it seemed. It seemed. He seemed like he knew. He was how he said it <laughs> almost oh uh, we did say that we were going to stay here possibly for a couple of days that's true donnie mm-hmm. i i wanted to ask you a question yeah as i recall you said something about walking out by the pond uh, okay well yeah i thought that it looked like a really inviting area 
Yeah. It was something odd. Mm. Something Wait a odd minute. About the pod. <clears throat> if I'm still there, I'm I'm curious. And what I would say to Donnie is, what did it look like? Because I went out and saw the lake or wherever the pond was at the uh, institution. Well, Alex. Oh, Maybe yeah, I'm getting I, you mixed up. Was it you, Alex? That, that? Yeah. Well, I, cer I certainly went out to the, to the pond when I went out while you guys were trying to find out information. And I saw that there was a fence and there was a forest and there was a pretty big pond out there. Yeah, and you notice around the pond, I don't remember, there was a, an amphitheater, so like kind of a, like they build up the hill and the amphitheater was kind of looking down into the pond, just the seats, kind of looking down at the pond over the uh, forest. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And is there something about like, now that I think about it, isn't there something about like something happening at night at some point in the next couple of days? Well, there was something about, um, uh, you, uh, one of you asked a question about the moon phase. Yeah, I think yes. it was me. Larry was talking Larry. about the moon, wasn't he? Larry was talking about, well, that it was, he was glad that Ophelia wasn't by herself at night and that in a couple of days, something's going to happen to him at the new moon. For yeah. all I know, that's mm. just paranormal jargon. I just, uh, I would say whatever we decide to do, as long as I don't have to interact with any of those god awful patients. I'm half wondering if we shouldn't go back to Larry's house and see if we can find any information on what he might have been up to. Because oh, we that's such a good idea. Well, we suspect it's, it's a long drive back, but... Um, yes, that's true, too. Uh, I suspected mm -hmm. yesterday that he was doing more than just checking in for rex, rest and relaxation. He was doing his little you sleuthing. Right, you did mention that. No. Well, it's still early. Let's make our phone calls. Mm -hmm. And maybe we can drive back and check the uh, apartment and then come back if we have to. Is this home here in Denver? Or is it? No, no it's, it's, where... It's, it's where you you all are from. He lives near Donnie. So it's a couple yeah. hour drive. Yeah, Over near Waltham. Yep. So, uh, Alex, you were going to make a couple phone calls? Yep, I'm going to make a couple phone calls. Okay, trying to reach out to some lawyers. Mm -hmm. uh, ones you know or uh, ones in Danvers? Ones, uh, ones I know. Okay. Um, I don't know if I know anything in Danvers. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, give me a luck roll. All righty. Lucky. I'm going to try to be very lucky here. I'm very lucky. Seven out of fifty-five. All right. Ooh. So uh, you're you are able to. They are in. Must have been one of the good ones, as you implied. <laughs> one of the good lawyers, and uh, he does uh, take your call. And he's he's like, "Oh, Alex, I hadn't hadn't heard from you a while." Uh, yeah, it's been quite a while. I've got a really unique case here, and uh, you always uh, do. You always do. So I go and I proceed to tell him what's going on and what the situation is, and that you know I also kind of add in there that like there's some you know potentially some fishy thing happening up in Danvers up here as well. We oh. we, we haven't quite figured it out. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a bunch of us here. You know, well you know old uh, Carlton and Donnie. Do you remember them? Oh well, yes, uh, yes I did. Tell me, is that a uh, ravishing woman, Ophelia, with you? Oh yes, absolutely. She's part oh, of our group. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, well. I. Uh, that, that's wonderful to hear. You're always such a lucky man to be around her. Don't don't tell my wife I said that. But oh, of course, of course not. Between us. Uh, so we we're trying to get Larry out. I'm wondering if you can make a few calls. If you know anything about the Ambers and this particular institution because uh, we feel like there's some really um, shady things happening here. And mm. we just, we don't believe that Larry should be in there. And it seems that he might be being held against his will. Oh, oh, well, uh, I will definitely uh, 
look into it. Uh, you know, uh, obviously getting people out, out of an uh, insane asylum, I'll have to d get in the books to find out what, what, the, what the procedure is. I imagine we'll have to go to a magistrate and get a court order to overrule the doctor if he's being held against his will. And if you, would, if you wouldn't mind, I uh, have another question for you. Hmm. Uh, you might get some more information out there than we would get locally here in Danvers. We feel like this Dr. Berger is kind of sketchy, to say the least. And I'm curious to know, in your, as you go look up the, this information, if there's anything that's been, um, any foul play with this institution. Any anything that's been kind of strange over the last several years? Oh, not 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 literal foul play, just uh, off things off. Off, yes, oh, correct. Okay, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I will. Uh, I will uh, look into that. That could bolster our our case case for if we're going to take it. Oh, uh, how will I be able to reach you? I know I know you're all off and gallivanting around. So we're at, we're staying at this inn. Um, although I have to tell you, I think I'll give, I give him the number. Yeah, at the yeah. Inn. Um, But I would say that I don't quite trust all the happenings here. So um, oh. please don't say, don't you leave me a message, leave me a message you called and I'll get back to you. All but if right. it's anything sensitive, um, you know, maybe just, I don't know, let me know that you need to call me, call you back urgently. Yeah. yeah I, do you still, uh, would you be able to get pictures if you think that he's being housed inhumanely? I think I'm going to work on that today, actually. All right. Well, I will definitely reach out to you this evening. Excellent. And I forget, and the lawyer's name is? Uh, Derek Rachel. Derek Rachel. Great. Thank you, Derek. I'll be in touch. Always a pleasure doing business with you, Alex. All right, so I come back, and I, I don't know if we're, we're back or if everyone's gathered downstairs at the end. Were we in a place where we could hear um, Alex on the phone? Uh, if you were still at the uh, dining table, then no. Okay. Yeah, I probably would have. Well, they don't have, do they, would they have, uh, well, I guess they would, right? Yeah, they, I, like like a little have, private booth or for a phone. Yeah. Well, I was wondering if we had a, a phone up in the room. Uh, not here. Okay, a private booth. Okay, got it. So I'll, I'll come out of the private booth and I'll kind of give everyone a skinny. And I'll tell um, Hank, well, to everybody, but I say Hank. So one thing I thought was really interesting is Derek was saying, hey, would you be able to get some pictures? So I still think that going back there and splitting up into teams is probably a good idea. Oof. I agree. Luckily, I have a camera. Donnie, do you think they're going to let? You think they're going to let anybody take pictures inside the institution? I, I uh, think like, they may have concerns about violating patient privacy. Yeah. Uh, you know, they still try to be respectful, especially if someone is, especially if someone is of means or comes from a respected family, and there they could be sensitive to that kind of thing. Oh, you there's, there's no doubt in my mind they're not going to let us take his, take pictures, which is why we have to kind of take yeah. matters into our own hands. Be a little but covert. I'm, yeah, it doesn't really yeah. sit well with me, but I, I, you know, as long as we're just taking pictures of Larry and it's for his best interest, I think. You know, I mean, I, I, I don't At think At this it's a problem. point, I'm thinking, ask forgiveness. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, ask forgiveness are you becoming religious? Yeah. I don't understand. Are, are you becoming religious? Not religious, just taking on a little more faith, you might say. Mm. What, what, when does ever cease? Um, so if you go to the Institute and we go back to the uh, back to Larry's house um Shall we meet up here this evening then? Do you want to do that? I mean, that seems like a long drive to go back to Larry. Shouldn't we all go together wherever we're, wherever we're going? Well, I'm not sure. Once again, if five, if, if five of us show up at the hospital, it's kind of overwhelming for them. It really stands out. But if Donnie and the two of you go there, you're a police officer. 
Yeah. And Alex mm. has can throw it's money, man. More, so. Ophelia and I could go back to his apartment and see if we can find any information on him. We'll be back in, Either what, way. four hours? It's not that hard. I've been to... Uh, yeah, I think, the idea of, I think the idea of a smaller group of us going up there is less likely to agitate them or draw as much attention than okay. all five of us right returning. Here. Yeah, I think, I think you're on to something. Why don't we go ahead and do this? Um, we'll drive over there. And drop us off at the gate. Why don't you take my car and then come back in the evening at Alton? Well, how are you going to get home? Or how are you how going to get back the, here? How as far as the inn from the actual? Uh, about, about three or four miles. Oh, brisk walk. Yeah, we can walk. We can either walk or we can probably, probably get a, a taxi. Or I'm sure we can figure something out. Well, don't say anything untoward towards the taxi driver. He might just leave you there and lock you, have them lock you up. All right. It's a plan. We'll drop you off, though. Uh, at least I don't have to uh, go into that place today. Yes, yeah, Sophia, you'll probably want to drop by your place to get a new change of clothes. Oh, yes. And I'll yes. probably do the same thing. Not, not at your place, but... <laughs> My please. Well, I probably have clothes for you, Alton. Yes, they won't fit me. Ah, uh, all right. Well, are we off then? I say so. Is there anything you need before we go? Hmm. Crowbar, a grappling hook on a rope. Well, I I'm gonna bring my detective my little dilettante bag out of my car. I wonder if uh, I wonder if there's a place I can probably just kind of keep it, um, you know, just where I would know where it is, or at least our party would know, Donnie. You know, I, I, don't, uh, I wouldn't want to take it into the place, but maybe I put it behind a bush or... Well, don't forget, there was a guard. Is the, is the whole building surrounded by a tall fence, or is there ways that we can go through the woods to get there? No, it's surrounded by a fence. Um, Alex, why don't you take some of what you need out and put it in your pockets and leave the bag here? Okay. They didn't check but pockets, as I recall, until room. we tried to go beyond the reception area. Yeah, and I had to relinquish my firearm. Oh, did you ever get that back? I did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hmm. All right. Well, I'll drop. We'll drop you off. Okay. All right. So you guys uh, head out to the car. Uh, it's there. Like I said, it's a beautiful day, as Donnie already described. It's uh, sun's coming out. And uh, who was going to the? Uh, who's getting dropped off? Hank. And Myself. I. Hank and Alex. All right. Sounds yep. good. Yep. And Donnie. Hank and Alex and, and Donnie. Donnie. Okay. All right. Hank and Alex and Donnie. All right. Cool. Doctor needs to come with us. I the two it. fashionably dressed ones are going back to uh, wherever we came from. Yeah. <laughs> uh, understood. Civilization. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, you get dropped off, no problem. And uh, you said you get dropped off at the gate. Wave goodbye. Farewell. As you, as you look back, you know, you get the uh, uncanny feeling that, you know, you're, you've been uh, dropped off here before. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So. But the guard, of course, opens the gate for you, and he's like going, uh, visiting? Visiting someone? Yeah, this is the same uh, guard? Uh, Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we're, we're we're back to uh to to visit our our associate. Yes. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Well, uh, going up the uh the front door should be unlocked. It's business hours right now. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, when we get out of earshot, I I look over at them too and say, "Do we want to make a, a a quick detour somewhere for you to drop some stuff off, or are you uh you fine carrying whatever you got in now?" 
to me? Yeah, to both of you. Mm. Um, well, you know, Hank, you got your gun. I've got my gun. You know, I don't. Right. What do you think? What do you, what do you want to do? Well, either way, we're gonna if we're gonna go through this, we're gonna have to relinquish our firearms at the security checkpoint. Um, I'm also worried about the camera. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know if they'll allow that through the security checkpoint either. Well, he didn't patch you down last time. He just asked what you have, right? Perhaps they'll take us at our word again. Especially if they see you making the gesture of turning in a weapon. True enough. True enough. So, yeah. I think we're okay with the camera. Okay. Fair enough. So not trying to stash anything then? All right. Only thing is, I'm worried about us being escorted by orderlies. So when they have to distract them while I snap a couple. Right. Well, leave that to me. All right. Figure, All right. use that rich mouth of yours. <laughs> Ooh. All right. So you guys uh, approach the, uh, the building. Again, as you, you come there, the doors, uh, they, they swing out for you as you open it up. And you see uh, John, John sitting at the uh, lobby desk again. He's uh, head down. Looks like he's writing on something. He does glance up when you come in and then looks right back down. So what do you think, Donnie? I think uh, we should probably take this. Yeah, I think I'll go up. Yeah. Hello there, Jonathan. Oh, it's you again. Uh, what, what, what can can I do for you this time? You doing all right there? Oh, I, I've just been uh, a lot of paperwork. Uh, I've been uh, keeping up on and, and everything. You know, uh, what, what, what can I do for you, Donnie? Yeah, actually, I, I was uh, just hoping to uh, to check in with Doctor Berger again uh, about our uh, our friend Larry Croswell. Uh, did you have an appointment or just one needing to walk in? Uh, this is a walk-in. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let, let me check. Let me check. He's like, uh, what, what about the others? Uh, oh, uh, they made the trip with me, but, uh, they don't necessarily need to go up to see the, uh, the doctor. Okay. You guys feeling all right then? Yeah. All right. Yeah. We're good. We're good. Good. Okay. Yeah. yeah give, give me a second. Uh, you know, he's a busy man. So he, he gets up and he, he walks down the hallway again. Oh, can we look around while he's not? Like, I, I'm presuming there's no Good. cameras here. Nope. No cameras. Lobby. Yeah. Why don't we take a, I want to take a look around as he's gone and obviously be mindful of like when he's looking around. And do we see anything out of Sweet. the ordinary here in the lobby? Uh, he's so, doing the same thing. Yeah, so as you look around, yeah, it, it looks uh, pretty much the same. Uh, you do notice on the uh, on the wall, it looks like uh, it's been recently scrubbed. Like there's a one spot that's noticeably whiter than the others. Hmm. Hey, Hank, what do you what do you make of that? Recent paint job. You don't happen to have like a nail file or. With... This is the one time I wish Ophi were around. Shit. Oh, no. Well, let me see what I got here. I don't know if I have a nail file, though. Probably have something that's similar in my little toolkit. Something. Uh, nothing specific to a nail file. What are you, what are you uh, thinking? Let's see. Crap. I don't have anything either. Well, I have a detective kit, so whatever would be in my detective kit. I'm going to take a fingernail and try to scrape some of the paint off. Okay. Um, and like peel it back, see if perhaps there's anything underneath it. So uh, as you do, you kind of scrape it back. Uh, do you have any like science, like forensics or? Um, as a police detective, no, I do not. <laughs> okay, uh, give me a spot hidden, but you're going to need a hard. Mm. Here we go. 
That's 48 out of 70. That's not a hard. Okay. Uh, no, no. Yeah, they kind of scrape it off. I mean, there's obviously some um, discoloring underneath it, but, you know, that's probably why they painted it. Uh, looks like just a regular old paint job to me. Ooh. Unless you want to look at it with your finagled detective kit. Well, I'll go look through my detective kit and see if I can kind of scrape a little bit more and see if there's anything else I can see in there. I mean, I do have a magnifying glass. Don't know if that would help. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll give you that with a uh, bonus die. Okay. Let's try that then. This time I get an odd seven. Ah. Uh. Okay, so as you're uh, you're looking there, you see uh, now that you're getting a little bit closer. You can see in the uh, the texture underneath it, where you kind of scraped out. There's a distinct, uh, obviously drawn line, but it's got that rust color of. Uh, and with an odd seven, you're pretty sure it's the rust color of uh, dried blood. Huh. Okay, that's odd. A drawing in dried blood? That's and then, screwy. And then you hear the uh, footsteps coming back back down the hall. Ah, shit. Mm, all right, let's get back to where we as we were. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, well, John, John comes up. He's like, um, uh, yeah, he's got a little bit of time to see you, Donnie. If you uh, if you want to go back, you, you remember you you know where it is, right? Yeah, yeah, I remember where he was at. All right. Again, nothing sharp or any weapons or anything. No, nope, not at all. All righty. Okay. Well, you know, good. Best of luck. So uh, he he kind of just gives almost a dismissive wave for you. Okay, so I go unescorted then. Yep. Nice. Uh, on the way then, I will dally a little bit just to kind of be, uh, you know, just looking a little closer than what I did last time, you know, see if I, anything seems off to me. I'm feeling a little, not really suspicious about the institution, but just you know, things aren't feeling right. So I want to really pay attention to what I can take in. Right, as, um, yeah, as you're going down, I mean, it, it's a well-maintained institution, so, yeah, nothing in the hallway that spills off. Are there many people out and about? Uh, you do see probably uh, every few minutes, like, because uh, this hallway leads down to a T-junction, and every once in a while you see some people kind of shambling by, obvious patients, and once in a while there's a, uh, there's a, uh, an orderly it comes through sometimes it kind of directs in the right way it's like oh you know the dining halls this way okay all right great um all right sure well then yeah i'll eventually make my way over to wherever dr berger's office was and okay uh give a knock he's like come in come in he yep. he, he looks up he's like ah what do i owe the pleasure oh it, dr berger oh uh, thank you for seeing me i i truly understand you're a busy man uh you know, uh back again today to uh to, to kind of check on, on larry uh, larry croswell that we had asked about yesterday um, ah yes uh larry yeah i i do i i remember you, you asking uh, about him hey, he's he's in he's housed in the the j ward still yeah you know and and, and i and forgive me if i didn't mention it yesterday but you know part of my my motivation here is I am a student uh, of how the human mind works. Uh, I currently uh, serve uh, some duties over at Fernald State School in Waltham. And mm -hmm. I uh, it, it just keenly uh, interested in keeping an eye on uh, my, you know, our, my friend here and, you know, uh, seeing if there is anything that I am able to, to help out with during the course of his care. Or, or possibly if I can lend any insight into his behavior and his past, if uh, there are questions about that, I'd be glad to aid in any way that I can. Um, oh, well, I mean, I, I, I always appreciate uh, friendly offers. I mean, you know, um, you've known him a while then, I, I take it? 
uh, yeah, I've known him for, for several years. It, it, and, you know, I, I uh, met him through a uh, mutual acquaintance who, you know, quite honestly, he said, hey, you got to hear the stories this guy has to tell, you know. And, mm. um, and, and I've read some of these uh, articles of, of this uh, Charles, I think his name was Charles Fort. And I thought, oh, maybe there's something to these ghost stories that would be at least entertaining to hear. So that's, that's how I, I, I met Larry. Oh, so so Larry Larry uh, likes to tell uh, ghost stories, and he sees things. Oh, uh, I think what uh, Larry talks about ghost hunting, but I'm not quite certain if if some of it is talk or if he actually has ever seen anything. Personally, oh. I, I'm not sure that I put much stock into to ghost stories. Right? Yeah. Well, I uh, well, no, no sane person would. Has he always been afraid of water? Afraid of water? Uh, no, I've never heard of that. No. As a matter of fact, I think he was talking about going swimming last summer. Hmm. Is, yeah. Has he developed a, some sort of phobia? Yeah. Yes. He uh, he's uh, been been uh, expressing that you know to to keep him away from the pool, stop dragging him to toward the pool. You know, I, I I'm I'm curious. I mean, which of course bothers me a lot. You know that that are peaceful place many of our patients find find quite a nice respite near, near the pool and uh we were actually trying to escort him out there when he uh, attacked our our uh our orderlies hmm. and it, it, yeah i've never heard of him being at all timid around the water uh and is this an indoor pool or, or were you referring no, no. to the, like the pond that's outside the the pond the, oh, the, okay. the pond yeah okay okay um no, personally, I when I walked up, I thought it looked like a really inviting area. Oh, uh, that that was the intent. I'm I'm glad. I'm glad. Okay. Glad, glad that that's that. But no, no. I mean, you know, yeah. I, like I said, he he checked in here. He said he was uh troubled from uh, some of his previous. Uh, obviously, I looked up a lot of this uh, once you guys came by. I was quite curious uh, what what was going on. Okay. And yeah, according to my notes, he uh, he checked in. He said he had went on some uh, adventure, uh, went to a house, and then he uh, came here. He was needing some rest, and uh, he was here for a, a few days. And then you know we were like, "Oh, Larry, if you're if you're having trouble, you know, lots of our patients find find respite in in the nature." And, is that when you said suggested the water to him? I did, and he uh, was uh, quite nervous of it. And I, you know, I, I, I thought it may be just an exposure to it, kind of like a uh, an allergy. If you expose someone to the allergy, maybe that they they can get over it. Uh, uh, sadly, sadly, uh, you know, it, 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 he reacted violently to it. Fortunately, it was here instead of out in the general public. Sure. Yeah, I, I've definitely seen therapies work where you submit someone to the thing that they're afraid of, and they finally come to terms with there's nothing there to fear. Uh, I'm sad that that's uh, that didn't work for him. Uh, so he mentioned something about going on an adventure at a house. Did he give you any detail about that or where that was? Was it was it here in our, in our area? Oh uh, no, is uh, in in Iowa it is uh, it's so, somewhere in Beliska. Beliska, okay. Yeah, well, I knew he traveled a bit, but I, I, I don't recall any necessarily any stories about Iowa. Um, yeah, did, you know, has he manifested anything other than this this phobia, and then the uh, I, I guess you're describing some sort of violence in, in his reaction. No, no. No, besides that, you know, we, we hope, hope that uh, maybe through the uh, proper use of ether, maybe some shocks, we could uh, get, get him uh, able to be back into the general populace of the hospital. I, I see. Yeah, when, when I saw him yesterday, he seemed uh, pretty even keeled, uh, but I'm not oh. sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I, I certainly, you know, would defer to your care since you, you've, had the most time with him and has experienced all this but i i'll admit being a little concerned about reaching you know too quickly for shock treatment uh i know oh, that that it's been but, proven effective at times but um you know uh i guess i have to defer to you on something like that but uh 
Oh, I, I, do, do you think I, I that it'll be? It's a part of his his uh, short term treatment. You think that's something he'll be experiencing soon? No, not 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 too soon. We we're going to uh, try and calm him through uh, through through the ether first. Sure. Have you have we tried any other types of medications with him to to calm him? No. No. And, and do you have any uh, concerns with with me doing a follow up conversation with him just to ascertain how what I can about his his condition? You want to talk to Larry? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, that that'd be no problem. Of course, you'll have to be escorted. You understand? Sure, I understand. Your, your escorts mm -hmm. yesterday were very polite, and I appreciate their professionalism. Oh, uh, well, I'm glad. Okay, great. Um, is there anything else that you'd like me to be aware of while I'm uh, here at your facilities to extend whatever professional courtesies I can? Oh, no, no. Uh, uh, you've, uh, you've always, uh, the times I've dealt with you, you've always uh, been uh, extremely uh, kind and, and all. You know, that's, that's why, you know, you can leave anytime you want. Okay. I, I really appreciate that, sir. Uh, all right, doctor. Uh, well, uh, do should I... Uh, obtain any sort of pass or do i i just connect connect with jonathan then when i want to move about the hospital john 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 will be able to to, to get a hold of some uh, people for you okay mm -hmm. got it. Uh, gotta admit on the way out yesterday i couldn't help but admire the the, the artwork over here on the wall yep. he looks up he's like ah yes uh saint george and the dragon it's uh it's an interesting take uh, on it. Uh, don't you don't you agree? I do. I mean, that's truly kind of turned uh, the traditional uh, depiction on you know upside down. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It, did, yes. It did, has. Did you know the artist by any chance? Uh, he was a one of my patients uh, oh. from from in Austin. From Austin, Texas. Oh yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, I'm not there originally, as you can tell by my accent, but, mm -hmm. but one takes work where one can find it. And did I you look at the painting? Uh, well, I did get a chance to look yesterday, but I tried not to dawdle on the way out. Okay. Yeah. I mean, today, today, have you looked no, at I, it? I, I, no, I, I imagine okay. it was it was visible on the way out, right? Yep. Yep. So it would have been right. behind me on the way in. Yep. I, yep. I wouldn't have turned around yet to look. Yeah. All right. Okay. But I will look on the way out. All right. Yeah. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, do you, did the the artist explain at all what his his thought was behind that? Because many times they have a vision or you know a, a theme that they're trying to express. Uh, I think he was mostly uh, expressing uh, he was expressing the dragon as the uh, the German army in the war and how it would slaughter you know the the Brits with the uh, their artillery. Oh, okay, so this was a, a more modern depiction, I guess. Yes. Uh, of the dragon. I see. I see. Is he? Is this person still under your care? Or is he uh, back in Austin still? S sadly, he has passed on. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh. Uh, we can't right. save an all. That's true. Oh uh, well, well, thank you again for your for your time and and for the access that you've granted me here. Um, yeah, I you know I appreciate you, you the courtesy and uh, the trust. Oh, no problem at all, Donnie. Okay. And uh, I will, uh, you know, let you get back to whatever it was you were working on. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And then on the way out, I will kind of just slowly take in that picture again. Yeah. As you turn around, uh, the same, but uh, and now uh, it seems like the horse has been discarded. Right. Gone from the picture? No, he's there, but like the before the dragon had the uh, the entrails, and it's now he's kind of passed them on, and it seems his attention has fully turned onto Saint George. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, Hank and Alex, what you up to? I assume Ophelia and Alton are still. <laughs> Driving. Yes, yeah. we're having we're having a long discussion as we're going. Frankly, my dear, I blame Larry for all of this. He gets us into these horrible little messes more often than not. Uh, it's, 
Yes, she wasn't. He was, he was a very intri he's a very intriguing fellow. No, he he's not. On, yes, but he took me on some enchanting walks. You went out enchanting things. No, he took me to these horror Look, these I've tried to explain things. to you that a man's value is not in the long enchanting walks he takes you on, but on the way he can take care of you. And frankly, Larry is a bit of a liberty gibbet, if you want. Hmm. Anyways, we'll be there soon. Yep. Well, I hope. All right. So, Hank and Alex, what, what were you uh, doing, Miss? while uh, Donnie was uh, talking to Dr. Berger. So what are you thinking, Alex? So I, just on, out of curiosity, just looking, you know, as John's come back, like, do we see that he has keys on his person or in view? He does or? have a, a key ring. He do, and there's not as many uh, keys on it as, you know, as the orderlies that uh, escorted you, you know, the other day. Mm -hmm. So what do you think, Hank? I think we should start to kind of maybe talk to John. I mean, it's trying to, you know, we were already talking before John came back about, about kind true. of. Um, well, you were talking about persuading him. We were talking about that, but are we sure he's got the right keys? He's got keys. We don't have any. Well, I've got a thirty-one. I've got a thirty-one percent on my persuade. Mm. I'm not sure how much yours you've got. Well, I'm fairly persuasive. Okay, why don't you go for it? I'll be there to kind yeah. of back you up. Well, here we go. Oh, he's working on some paperwork. He looks up. He's like, oh, uh, Hank, uh, what can I do for you? Oh, we're both going to be, we're both going to be at the table, curious. by the way. Yeah, we'll be at both there. Uh, I'm just curious. What all do you take care of around here? Oh, I manage the doctor's schedule, make sure that uh, everyone can get their appointments that are, are needed for their mental health. And all I handle the payroll. Right, and uh, what areas are you usually allowed to go through? It's just... Oh, I go, hey, you know, into the uh, records office and, you know, I don't go into the uh, patient's area, I, you know. No. No, you're not an orderly, no. Mm -mm. No. no. Uh, is there any way that maybe we can perhaps take a look in those records? Uh, which records? You said you were able to go into the hospital records, right? If we were yeah. just take a yes, I, 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 I'm allowed. I mean, uh, I could go retrieve some records for you if that's that's what you're needing. As long as you know, obviously, I can't get you other patients' uh, records. Hmm. So if you were able to, like, say, maybe get Doctor Bridger's records. Oh, you want his, like, uh, his, um, oh, what would that be called? His uh, doc certifications or documentation? Credentials. Uh, credentials, thank you. <laughs> his, his credentials? Uh, that could be a start. Oh, well, I mean, those are a matter of public record. I mean, that, that would be, be no problem at all to get you some credentials on, on the good doctor. So what about uh, what about Larry's uh, records? Are they available here, especially the more recent ones? Larry, Larry Croswell. Croswell, yes. Croswell. Patient records. Patient records. Uh, I 
couldn't couldn't provide those. No, no. Can I do a psychology roll? See if he's bullshitting me. You can. You can. <laughs> Sixteen out of fifty. No, he's telling the truth. He, he, uh, he cannot. He, you get the impression that he's like, yeah, I, I can't provide the patient's records. <laughs> but you have access to them. Well, yeah, I file them away. But I mean, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I knew knew you were talking about Larry Croswell because Doctor Berger asked for those records yesterday. Really? What do you need? He said after after you guys visited that he needed to review the records. Mm. Cool. So, how much would it be to get you to say drop your keys for about five minutes? Well, uh, this is the only job i was able to find in town so so as he's speaking i reach in yeah. to my coat and i pull out some cash and i okay all right uh give me a persuade but i'll give you a bonus with that <laughs> okay and either one can can roll it if one's better because you're kind of double right. teaming it. Mm. what's the bonus uh you gotta roll another uh, of the tens and so you pick the better of the results Oh, okay. Uh, I got 10. Okay, so... Yep, go with you. Out of 50. Well, you kind of... Uh, I assume you set the uh, cash down? Yep, I set the cash down in plain view. So he well, drops he drops a paper on it, uh, the newspaper, and kind of uh, pulls it in. He's like, going, well, you're not taking weapons, anywhere right you, you know of where course not no. okay. who wouldn't think of that of course he's not. like well i might have to go to the restaurant restroom and i i don't like the keys hitting my ankles so you know right yeah. right i get you i get you you don't want them falling down the pisser i got you right, i did that yeah. to my house keys oh oh he's like i'll be I'll read a uh, little, little Abner and little Orphan Annie. So you know, and and do the crossword. So, and I'm not fast at the crossword. <laughs> All right. Much obliged. Much he, obliged. He pockets the cash. <laughs> okay. Now we got some keys. Now let's take a look at them real quick. Well, we wait till he walks away. Yep. And then. Uh, Look at the keys. Is there any markings? Is there any numbers on the keys? Is there anything? Yeah, I'm sure there's like office numbers marked on it. What do you think, Hank? Where should we go first? First, I want to go to records. All right. You're the boss. Let's go. Secure what we have on Larry. All right. So, um, you can find it. It's a... It's before Dr. Berger's office on the left. And it, it unlocks without any problem. Make sure okay. no one's looking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Duck in. Okay. So you go in. Uh, it is uh, lots of uh, cabinets. It's very, um, you know, lots of paper, a must, almost a musty smell, but not. I don't want to imply that it's wet or anything in there. It is well maintained. Oh, and uh, you can well see that. Is it well organized? It is. It's in alphabetical order. Excellent. All right. All right so while while Hank does that, I'll I'll stay guard on the door. Okay. So, uh, what, whose records are you? I assume Larry's. Larry's and Dr. Burgess. Find Dr. Burgess. Okay. Uh, who's first? Uh, let's go Berger first. All right. So, Dr. Berger, let me find uh, where it is. Do, do, do. There it is. Hi, right, Dr. Berger. So, he is a well respected. <laughs> you see that he. 
he is a uh, obviously he's a doctor. He did have a successful tenure at uh, Austin, Texas. In fact, you do find a uh, certificate, you know, of uh, you know lots of people that he helped. Uh, mm -hmm. You do give me a library use. Uh, see if you can interpret what you're reading through here. Mm -hmm. One of my good skills. Thirty-five out of sixty. Okay, yeah. Uh, so uh, you can see early on he has a lot of credits to uh, of authorship in uh, various professional journals and everything, but you haven't seen anything in about the past uh, past eight years. No, hmm. and, uh, no uh, authorships out there. So he's not been current on his stuff, really. Yep. And the uh, last thing you find is that he is a he is single, and that he uh, his address is the asylum. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. Eight year spurt without ever writing anything, any sort of journalism or anything like that. That's interesting. All right, let's move on to our dear Mr. Croswell. Okay. Uh, so you do find a file that says uh, Croswell. And as you are looking, you get it out. It is very thin. Uh, what shouldn't be too surprising, as he said. Uh, you do saw, see one note that says, uh, it's quite curious, actually. It says, uh, Croswell, buried in Potter's Field, April 23rd, 1925. What? Mm -hmm. Alex? Yes. Um, What's going on, Hank? Are we you see something? Dead man? What do you got? What are you looking at? I uh, pull out the paper. I show it to Alex. Look, buried in Potter's Field, 1925. Oh, oh. this doesn't make any sense. No, it where's, Pot where's Potter's Field? Uh, we might have to. What? Wait a second. Wait a second. That's a good. That's a that's, wonderful question. As a uh, as a police detective, you would know Potter's Field is uh, the local cemetery. They bury poor people. People that can't afford to. <laughs> it's a poor people cemetery. I want to take a look Food around help. the. I want to take a look around the office as as Hank tells me this, and just like around the cabinets. I want to see if there's anything kind of suspicious, anything that, you know, really kind of give it a once over, like around to see if I see anything or find anything. Uh, like, that doesn't give. Give me a spot. Give a month or a day. A gay April twenty third, nineteen twenty five. April 23rd. April 23rd. Uh, 19. So I did get my spot in. You're confident that, that you're, nothing seems, you know, strange and it's hidden away in here. You know. So yeah, didn't find anything. <laughs> they put him down in public record as buried. So then, they put him down as dead. Wait a second. If he's dead, then who's? Is that Larry? I'm bringing uh, this with me. Yeah, I think so. I think we got ourselves an investigation here. All right. So, uh, Donnie, you're uh, you're coming out of the, uh, and we'll get to Alton and Philly here really soon. Donnie, you're coming out of Dr. Berger's office. As you are, you see, I assume Hank and uh, Alex, you were coming out of the uh, records office? Uh, yes. Yep. So, so you see them coming out that door. You, you're not sure what it is, but you, uh, you see from the corner of your eye a very large patient drooling and he's actually kind of running toward them toward who uh whoever came out first of alex or hank in a menacing way 
Yeah. Is he is he holding anything dangerous in his hands? Nope. He's just got his hands in it and kind of a fist. That could be how he kind of runs. Oh. And uh, Alex, uh, you see him come in also. Uh, oh. I, <laughs> I definitely step out of the way. So like, oh, guys. <laughs> yeah, I go for a dot. Like, okay. Know, I don't wanna... All right. So, yeah. all right. Well, uh, go for a dodge. So, so, I, so I don't see this guy coming yet. Uh, you, you see, because uh, uh, I said Alex came out first, so you see Alex Hender. Yeah. I did not make my dodge. Oh. All right. So, so oh. right, you see, uh, see, and he kind of grabs you by the shoulder and kind of he lifts you up because he's really strong. And he slams you against the wall. And he's like, what do you know? What are you looking into? Uh, I'm, I'm going to try and prize this big guy off of alex and hey lay off buddy okay i want to i want to help him with that all right so like, whoa, whoa 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 that's right my gut right. feeling is these two shouldn't be here and i don't want them to get caught where they are right yeah we got it uh, but okay uh make a uh you're gonna try and pry him off so make a fighting maneuver and what what's your build he's a build one i'm i'm a lovely build zero uh, all right, so, but Donnie's helping so out. I built zero, and I rolled an hot seven. Okay, yeah. Um, I most definitely did not roll an hot seven. I rolled eighty-one out of base. So, <laughs> so Hank, you kind of get on him, and you're pulling. It's nothing, but 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 with you kind of uh, there, Donnie's able to kind of get there, maybe uh, put his finger right there, right behind the the earlobe apply a little pressure he kind of lets go and then he's almost reverts back to a childlike state he's like going oh uh, uh, i'm i'm sorry I, I i i don't know what came over over me uh, ever since the war my my head my head i'm waving the guys on saying hey get get out of here get out of here and uh and i start talking to the guy and try to console him and See, okay. you know, and I'll ask, hey, you know, uh, no, no, you're okay, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, where, where, where would you like to go back to? Can I walk you All back right. to to your room? All right, All right. You got psychoanalysis. I uh, yes. All right. Oh, a ten. Uh, I've got a twenty-six in it. He does calm down, and he starts walking off off with you. All okay. right. So now we'll cut to Alton and Ophelia. Oh. Uh. All right, so you guys make it back. Uh, uh, to uh, you want to change first? Well, it's probably a good idea. Oh yes, um, I definitely would. I wear some more more comfortable clothes. We're rummaging through Larry's stuff. Mm. Well, you guys get changed and everything, and you head over to Larry's. I'm assuming. Yeah. 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 Why else would you drive out here? <laughs> so you uh you get the, you get there and um we'll say you had a, a way in, you know. It, Aww. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. We were we were we were gonna break in. Okay. Or, or, yeah. or we were we we're gonna use a bobby pin to try to pick the lock. And if All that right, didn't work, okay. we figure yeah. Larry will forgive us. Yeah, yeah. Give me a lock pick. Give me a lock pick. Just so you can see our lock. What was it locksmith? Yeah. Yeah, I've got to get a one. To... Yeah, I got a forty. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I we elbow six, 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 elbow a little glass pane in the door and reach yeah. inside. Right. Yeah. So uh, you go. You come in, and it's a it's a studio apartment. It's really piled up with uh, various bric-a-brac from his. Uh, uh, off as adventures you see uh lots of uh silly silly things that that he's like he'd shown you before he's like oh look you know this is proof i got this from from you know uh the spirit in the graveyard and all oh this one came from the corbett house and so on and so forth. has a big big poster on the wall that says the truth is out there that's right yeah he said yeah as one that says lovecraft was right you know <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm I'm just kind of curious if we find any evidence that he'd recently been to uh, Belisca, Iowa. Uh, yeah, yeah, 
You do. Mm-hmm. But we didn't uh, know that. But. No, <laughs> but but yeah, you you find uh, you do find because it's the last thing he was doing. So you do find some stuff piled piled up there. Uh, he went out. There was a the axe murder house, which is uh, and he he tried to stay there. That and uh, so can we find out what he was doing just before he checked himself in? Did he? What was it that would have unnerved him so? Uh, so are you going to spend some time going through his papers, I'm assuming? Yeah. Yes, okay. even though it's horrifying. And I mean, we assume that whatever it would be, it wouldn't be tucked away somewhere. It would be right. something that would be out. Yep. You do find a couple articles. Uh, you find uh, this. Oh, Danvers Asylum Superintendent. Builds amphitheater for patients. We saw the amphitheater, didn't we, Ophelia? A workman at Danvers State Lunatic Asylum broke ground today for the establishment of a small amphitheater to be enjoyed by the patients. Residents will enjoy quiet conversation space, poetry readings, and musical performances in an idyllic outdoor setting next to the asylum's reservoir. A beautiful place where water and earth meet, say Superintendent Dr. James Berger. A good old Dr. Berger. Asylum residents and chief laborer Andrew McBride uh, added that his team had some difficulty breaking up and removing a large granite disc bearing an artistic design set into the hillside where the amphitheater is to be built. That's odd. Uh, the asylum's prior superintendent, Dr. William Shine, uh, had the disc placed on the side of Hawthorne Hill. Dr. Shine, a world traveler, is said to have believed that the granite disc was a symbol of good luck for the asylum. Local residents questioned the expense of building an amphitheater for mentally ill patients. However, Dr. Berger defends the creation of the amphitheater, explaining it's, an import, it, it, it's important to remember that we must look uh, to the betterment of, us, of all of our citizens, especially those deemed too delicate or damaged to be part of the ebb and flow of the greater world. Now, that's quite interesting. Dr. Shine, I wonder if there's any photographs of this large part. Uh, there, there, there is a picture with it. So you do see a, a picture of uh, some workers. Uh, they are holding up fragments, and on one of them, it seems like it has a uh, outline of a of a uh, star. A couple, star. you see a couple points. So you know how That's people. Very, very strange. Where do you think that he found this object? Oh. And. And what you notice, Alton, is that the uh, one of the workers, he is the, uh, he seems like he was the patient that was drawing the picture when you went back to the dining room that was drooling on I've, himself. I've seen this fellow before. What do you mean you've seen this fellow before? Uh, when you were messing around with John, there was a, a young man uh, p- painting on the on the uh, sitting there. I, I looked at what he was doing, and it was some sort of a you know, mental derangement of his, and some sort of frog thing, monster, odd yes. thing. But he asked me something, and I can't for the life of me remember what it was. But I'm sure he's the same man as in this picture here. But I wonder how, if I wonder how many of them went seems, insane. That seems bizarre. It can't be a coincidence. Oh, perhaps it's just convenient. If you're going to go insane, you might as well go insane at an insane asylum. True. Well, I was thinking, obviously, by being an amphitheater, it'd be a perfect job for me if but I just wouldn't want to perform in front of all these mentally ill people. Ugh. Yes, they'd probably all just sit there and masturbate while you dance and sang and did uh, things. Don't, don't put that image in my head, Alton. Oh. Uh, listen, um, 
Let's gather some of this information. Yeah. Dr. Shani. Yeah, there is another article with it. Hey, my dear, you read this one. You can read, can't you? Of, of course I can read. I mean, somebody with your looks certainly does not need an education. I am an actress, after all. I do have to read. Oh, that's um, true. You do. Yes. Okay. Shine retires from Danvers Asylum. Okay. Uh, Salem native Dr. William Shine, veteran superintendent at the State Lunatic Asylum at Danvers, is to retire after 25 years of service. Known for his great tradition, kind, kindly demeanor, and progressive treatments, Dr. Shine is credited, credited with a renewal of a facility for the betterment of its patients. Prior to his 1890 arrival, the asylum had suffered from a poor reputation and staff morale was low. Patient accident and mortality rates were among the highest in the country. So why would he retire? Hmm. Well, he probably got old. Yes. One does have to occasionally pass the torch. Yes, but... Uh, true. Um, Superintendent Shine could occasionally appear as idiosyncratic as the institution he so successfully stewarded. Long-time readers may recall the complaints when Dr. Shine, then less than a year into his tenure, had sculpted granite disc placed at the edge of the property's reservoir at taxpayer expense. Yes, I'd be very pissed off as well. <laughs> well, you know, one does like art. Yes, but uh, these people. Dr. Shine was then, as he is now, adamant that the decorative disc remain unmolested, even as the superintendent takes leave of the institution. Regardless of his idiosyncrasies, Dr. Shine's ability to transform the asylum into a success story over his long stewardship will be his enduring legacy. A world traveler to exotic locales during his early years, Dr. Shine declares that he now looks forward to a quiet retirement in his native city of Salem. The doctor has stated his intention to bequeath his personnel and professional papers to Salem Hospital. Regarding his successor, Dr. James Berger, Dr. Shine, has high praise. Dr. Berger will no doubt be a sincere protector of the afflicted and a good master of the institution. Shine adds, I sincerely hope that Dr. Berger will leave a few old stones unturned and instead focus his intention on the asylum's bright future. We at the newspaper wish Dr. Shine a long and happy retirement. Well, that's no, it's interesting. It's interesting because one asks the question, the Institute itself was not in a very good light until Dr. Shine arrived. And within a year, he had what amounts to a large artwork placed on the, on the edge of the property. From that point on, things at Danvers seemed to be very good. He claimed it was good luck. Perhaps it was good luck. But now Dr. Berger has had it removed, and it would seem that things are becoming quite out of hand. Yes. I don't believe in luck. Maybe I do, but... I would like to see this granite disc, though. If he wanted to put it on display, it must be a beautiful piece of some kind. Yes. Is there actually a picture of the disc itself? No. Nope. Just a picture of the guys holding the fragments of it. Hmm. I should like to see if it's possible to do more research some at some point and see if we can find a picture of it, but it's not a high priority at this point. Well, maybe so, we could try to... Do we know if Dr... Sh we don't know if Dr. Shine is... I'm assuming he's still alive. Well, that's true. And, and Salem is not very far from Danvers Hall. Oh, so we could go to speak to him, maybe. Yeah, we'll probably get back um, this afternoon, late afternoon, evening, 
Maybe we can see if we can discover if he's still there uh, and uh, visit him on uh, the day after tomorrow, tomorrow, perhaps. Surely one of the locals will know he's in Danvers anyway. Might also look into seeing if we can find people that know Dr. Shine. I'm not sure what this has to do at all with Larry, but uh, something oh, is amiss. Something is quite out of place. Something is very odd, and it gives me the shivers all the time. I keep oh. having the feeling that, well, yeah, deja vu, for lack of a better word. Yes. As if I know what's going to happen, or, or that I've done this before. In any case, it was just nerves, I suppose. Yes, um, maybe we should get a cup of tea to settle those nerves. That's a good idea. I imagine he has some very nice tea. Uh, he uh, does not. Oh. <laughs> we could always go have a nice meal, Alton. Let's do that. Let's others. do that for sure before we go back. Um, I'm going to give one more cursory look around the room. Is there anything that I find? You do not. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's 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 go. I hear there's a there's a place along the way going back that uh, sounds very nice. It has uh, two golden arches that are golden. Sounds fantastic. Oh, uh, let's go. Yes, so we let's... leave. All right. <laughs> You guys are headed out. Donnie, as you are escorting uh, the patient back to his cell, or uh, his uh, room, uh, he's, he's definitely kept in the, uh, the nonviolent ward. So uh, the, the door to that is open. He's like, oh, oh th thank you. Uh, uh, would you like me to draw you a picture? I, I could draw a picture of you. Do you enjoy drawing? I do, I do. He's yeah, like, uh, yeah. look, look, look at my, look at all, all my work in here. Okay, I take a look. Okay, and give me a spot hidden. Twenty-three, and uh, I've got a fifty-five. Okay. So as he's looking around, you see one that is Alton. It is a uh, drawing of Alton in a straight jacket. Really. It, Yep. It, is it um is it have much i guess it's it's good enough to be able to tell it's Elton though yep uh, yeah it it is very competently done you know okay. for a pen pen and or ink and paper you know oh i compliment him on it say hey, oh have you ever seen that person before are you doing this from your imagination he's like no i i i i've seen him i he talked to me yesterday he was so kind mm -hmm. he he he, he was he was so so nice uh, that I ha had to draw him. I he said he said he didn't want it, so I I kept I kept the drawing I made of him. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah it, what uh, now? I don't remember that being the jacket he was wearing. What uh, what made you think of that style of jacket for him? Oh, it just seemed like uh that that that's that's how he would dress. Uh, okay. No. Okay. So it's something you saw in your imagination. In your mind? I, I I think I the doctor says that, that that sometimes what I see is real and sometimes what I don't see what I see is not real and that I I should should draw it and that he he'd let me know but I haven't shown him that I that's that's only for me. I really like your artwork. Are there any other pieces that you're holding on to and that you that that you uh, that you're 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 not sharing to everybody but you might share with me? Oh well. Yeah, I I I have have some more. He gets any kind of digs around. He's like, on th this is one. This one comes to me in my dreams often." He he lifts it up, and it is a uh, a drawing of a uh, toad with wings, and it has about uh, ten eyes across its its uh, face. He's like, uh, he, he he talks to me sometimes. Really, this creature talks to you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I told the doctor about it, and he said he said that that he's not that it's not real, but 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 
but he, he he tells me he tells me what to do he told me that that he told me that that those those men were in the in that office and that i had to 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 find out okay so yeah that's that's how you knew that they were down there yeah yeah i i was sleeping and then i i i just had to go go find out what they knew okay but now now i it just seems silly it just seems like you know why 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 did i need to talk to them like that you know oh, I, I don't know but i don't think you hurt anybody and it seems oh, like good. you're trying to you're, you sound like you're trying to do the right things yeah yeah i just sometimes i get 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 so confused yeah i i i, I don't i don't know what what's happening at, are all these pictures in like crayon or pen or what are they're they? like a an ink yeah like an ink. okay yeah. are you um have you ever uh, drawn like before you lived here did you ever do paintings or anything else like that oh uh, i i did i i i i used to paint a, a lot but you know uh i i fa found that the the ink is, is so much more subtle i i just it, it just more satisfaction and because i can have a pen uh to have paint here is is just just beyond i would have to go to the group group room but okay. I, so I, I like you have I the ink here in your room yeah yeah i i can have the ink one pen one pen at a time yeah you know i saw a very impressive piece of uh of artwork here um in in this building uh over in dr berger's office have you ever been in there by any chance he has yeah. a very large he has a very large mural on the wall did you see that with the dragon uh yes yes i i did it was uh it was quite quite strange i i it 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 almost seemed like you know there were colors that 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 i i i don't even know what you would mix together to make those colors yeah yeah i uh, i didn't yeah. notice the colors but it sounds to me like you have that kind of talent to know what colors would be available yeah right yeah I I only saw it the one time though. It, oh, okay. It was, it was, it, 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 it was, I, I didn't like it. it. It was too violent. I've seen too much violence in my time. You know, it, it, the, the guns, they never stopped. They kept firing. They kept firing. And you, you can sense he's getting himself kind of worked up. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Well, no, it's, it, he goes, Oh, it, it, and I said, well, but it sounds like the art. It's really enjoyable to you. Does it help you relax? It, it it does it does sometimes i have to just you know i i i, I like i like to have have them here watch watching watching me and, and all he, he you got to have good good trench mates they, they they keep you safe sure so some of your some of your drawings are like your trench mates then yes yeah that's that, that, that's nice that they can be there for you the uh well uh i i'm really glad that you shared this with me does that uh, that toad with with the wings and the eyes that you showed me does it have a name yeah hey he he is uh the uh, i i can ask him he's never told me his name okay but, but I, I could ask him if he if i talk to him tonight yeah and all or th then i could let you know yeah yeah tell me if he'll tell you i oh I, i'm definitely curious if it will if he'll, if he'll talk to you more Oh Has he yes. ever told you anything else like to go and and see what those gentlemen were doing? I uh, he's told me at times that you know uh to to yeah, he's told me to to attack people before but okay. You know, uh they 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 said that it wasn't my fault. I understand. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to get going and I need to get back down to, um, back down to the lobby. Okay. So, are you feeling okay now? Or would you uh, like me to get someone I, to come in and talk to you? No, no, I, I feel good. Maybe I'll come visit you. Okay. Well, my name's Donnie. And what's your name? Oh, my name is Andrew. Andrew? Okay, Andrew. It's been really nice meeting you. I, and thank you for sharing your art with me. 
Oh, oh, I, I, it was my pleasure, always. Mm -hmm. Let me know if, if you get any other if there's, uh, really interesting dreams or if you come up with some other artwork, I'd be glad to, to listen or take a look at what you have. I will. Okay. Yes. I'll see you later, Andrew. Good, goodbye, Donnie. And then he kind of bends back. He gets out some paper and he kind of bends over and starts drawing again. Okay. I'll, I'll head back down towards the main lobby. Okay. All right. Oh, Hank and uh, Alex, you guys uh, hanging out in the lobby there? Uh, John's came back. Oh, yeah. And I'll give him back his keys and say, Will Abner make it? Yeah, he did. I she's like he's like little orphan Annie. I I don't know if Daddy Warbucks is mm. whatever. <laughs> Never know. Right. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Well, it's that still er early in the day. Do you guys uh, care to take a walk down by the pond to take a look at the uh, oh, what else was down there? That that was there an amphitheater down there? Yep, absolutely. Yeah. And Donnie, you mentioned something about, uh, or did, 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 did Donnie mention about the um, pond by the inn to us? I'd seen, uh, I'd seen water on, perhaps on the street in the pond, and the color was very reminiscent of what I'd seen in the mural up in the office. Hmm. There's some sort of connection between the colors I had seen there. Hmm. Huh. I think we should go investigate right? that water and see what's going on over there. Sure. Well, yeah, let's go, let's go for a walk. Uh -huh. And I kind of give you a look with my eyes like there's something more I want to say, but this isn't the place. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Personally, I wouldn't say the grounds of this place isn't a place to talk about, but sure. <sighs> so let's head out there. Okay. Yeah. Well, you guys uh, go out to the uh, the pond. There are, uh, as the day, uh, it's probably getting around noon or something. The, the sun's out, and there's uh, patients wandering around. As you approach, you do see some are sitting at the amphitheater, kind of uh, relaxing. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I want to steer clear of anybody who can hear us speak right. at regular volume, or at least make out anything we're saying. Right, yeah. Uh, so it looks like you guys uh, made it beyond the uh, the reception desk. Oh, yes. You uh, did. It, was fairly, it, was, it was fairly easy once we, uh, you know, utilized the good old money bin. <laughs> so I pull, I pull Donnie in close and go down to a whisper and say, and telling him while having Hank, we're all kind of like huddled, but not to be too obvious about it. Yeah. So kind of weaving in and saying, there's something that doesn't seem quite right about Larry. Hank, why don't you show him? I open my trench coat and pass the paper to Donnie behind it. Take a peek. So I take a read. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and where did you find this? What is this? We That's got it in the records. records. That in was record out of the, the room you were coming out of then? Yes. Yeah. Something's this... not quite right here, Donnie. Our no. It but... was buried in Boot Hill. Yeah. Oh. Um, and, and actually, uh, Keith, I meant to ask to do a roll to see whether or not I thought uh, there was anything weird about that conversation I had with Dr. Berger. I forgot to ask. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Give me a roll. Yeah. If I felt like he was maybe being more genuine or if he was really just trying to feed me a line again. Mm -hmm. um, it, I got a 65. Uh, my psychology is a 75. No, he seemed like, you know, he's, he's being straight. Okay. I mean, Question. You're the, asking pretty innocuous questions, so, you know. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I got the impression he was being a little bit more of a straight shooter this time. Like, I didn't get the, the weird vibe like he was trying to mislead me, and he seemed 
if anything, cooperative. So I, I don't get what this is at all. I mean, this is, this is just bizarre. We, we, we talk to Larry. Larry's fine. Oh, other than being in this, you know, down in the pit. Other than his public record stating he's been buried in a place that doesn't have any tombstones. Wait a minute. What date's on this thing? Uh, April 23rd, 1925. It's now we'll April. Night. What, what day is it now? April 21st. Yeah. <laughs> I filled oh this out for two days from now. <laughs> yeah. Now you know why I'm a little worried. We need to get Larry out of here. Yeah. You're dealing with a dead man. In dead man walking. He's a dead man walking. This will definitely be enough to get an investigation warranted into this place. That they set a DOD I, this early. Yeah. Oh, which, well, I was, okay, no, never mind. We have the evidence yeah, again, so. And I, I uh, the doctor's given me uh, kind of a, an open pass to go wherever I want at this point in the hospital or to go back down to see Larry uh, before Wait a we minute. leave. Yeah. You have an open pass to go anywhere in here? I, 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 he hasn't lim limited me to anything. It seems like I've got a pretty open, yeah. Uh, it's, time to invest wait. it's time to investigate. We got we to gotta, we gotta check out this place. He, he will likely, if we go. Come? I forget personally. In a couple of days, right? What was that? Sorry. When's when the is new the moon new moon? Coming? Uh, it's April twenty third. Oh, it's yeah. like the same day. <sighs> Larry, something was it something. To, uh, no, no. Mm -mm. Strange things are afoot at the Circle K near the amphitheater. <laughs> mm -mm. Uh, no. We will likely get an escort if we if we yeah. go back to where Larry is, though. Uh, I, I don't think it. I think I've got the ability to go where we want to go, but it's likely we'll be watched to some degree. Well, we've already, we already know that. We already know where we are if we're going to go down there. And, you know, we're probably going to be watched because we're, the last time it was orderlies, it didn't seem so accommodating, let's say. What if we go check out some other play areas of this, uh, of this ward? The only question is, is that like, we might be asked why we want to go see the other areas of the ward. I, uh, I suspect we'll be able to get around fairly uh, fairly well as long as we don't reach anything that's actually locked where they have people restrained or for security reasons. You know, they, they're keeping the doors you know, bolted. Okay. Well, what do you guys think? I think it's worthwhile to investigate either out here by the amphitheater or we go look around inside of the uh, exactly inside of the institution. Do you, we're wanting to look at. do you guys recall anything about Larry having a fear of, of water? No, but I want to I want to check that pond water again because you okay. said that you said that it had that luminescent. Like maybe we should look at it. Maybe we should really like because you know when I went there yesterday, it, it just seemed really odd. From what you talked about, the pond over by the inn, you know, there's something. Fishing. Let me get. I got my detective kit. I can probably just you know, maybe we should take a sample of it. I don't. I, I don't know. I, I just think that we we need to like. There's something strange here. Take a well, sample it, of it and have it sent to the state to have it analyzed. We're gonna wait another two months. Well, Larry well, definitely yeah. seemed to hate it when they two tried days. to take him to the pond. That's when he attacked. They wanted to encourage him to go swimming, and that's when he decided to get violent. It was with this pond. Oh. Yeah, there's something about the water in this pond. There's something, there's something either in that pond or something's going on there. Take a sample, Alex. So I'll go down to the pond. All right, so you go down there. Give me a power roll, Alex. All righty. Uh, I missed it by seven. Okay, uh, Mr. Bicep. So as you get down there, you hear a distinct 
kind of like in the back of your mind, but this the screaming, but you know, there's some gurgling and it is like going, help me, give me, give me out of here. Throw me a line. <laughs> and then uh, out on the water, you see like those ripples, like someone threw a, a rock or something into the pond, but obviously you didn't see anyone throw anything into the pond. Uh, so I turn around quickly. I don't know how far back um, uh, Hank and Donnie are. I'm like, are you are you guys seeing this? Mm. Uh, you do see the ripples. <laughs> you guys seen these ripples? Uh, yeah. yeah, did somebody throw a rock? I, I just heard something. I, it's going to sound crazy, but I just heard something. Remember how we were having those dreams we talked about over breakfast? I heard something. It was like something. It's coming from that pond. I it's coming from hear. inside the pond. I didn't hear um, anything, Alex. I'll walk over to where Alex is. Maybe I can hear it from there. Okay. Uh, give me a power roll. You know what? I'll indulge you for a little bit. Maybe there's yeah. somebody talking around here and you're just hearing it. But I'll walk over. 45. Yeah, my score is a 60. Okay. As you get over there, you hear uh, it's probably just the wind, but an almost like, ah, ah. Huh? It's that almost seemed like a scream. Yeah. But, you know, it could have just been the wind blowing, hit, hitting your ear just right. That noise? Did you hear that right there? It sounded like it was the wind or someone the yelling. Was it like screaming? Was it like somebody like crying out for help or something? I didn't hear anybody say help, but it sounded, I don't know. It sounded like the wind, but someone maybe yelling. Could it be someone back towards the house? Is it carrying sound funny around here? Would I know if it was coming from the pond, mine, or is it just in my in my mind? Uh, it's just in your mind. Interesting. I think you're. Are you both losing it? You know what? I'll I'll come I'll come closer. <laughs> All right. All right. Give me a power. <laughs> Because you're both saying you're hearing voices. This is getting crazy. 71 out of 65. 71 out of 65. Uh, you hear uh, a distinct voice. Uh, it goes, it goes, 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 for the love of God, help me. Help me. <laughs> and you're... I'm not okay. <laughs> Just get uh, up here now. Yeah, and the two that failed their, their power rolls, you can give me a sanity check on that one. One sanity. One sanity. 29 out of 65. 30 out of 50. Just one point then. Ah. <sighs> Let's get as far away from this right now as we can and continue our conversation elsewhere, please. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, as, we all right. All right. As, as we walk away from the pond, I want to look around at the patients. Is, do I notice anything? Are they all just no, no funny? A couple of them are got, kind of looking at you, but, you know, more of like, uh, you know, just, oh, there's someone moving about. Let's, what are they doing? Oh, they're just, hey. It's kind of observing the the life. Kind of looking at my yeah. cigar button, looking at the pond. Mm -hmm. I'm tempted to throw this in there. <laughs> Definitely put something no. in that pond. Whatever they put in, I don't like it. And uh, Alex, as you were looking around at the other people, give me a spot hidden. Uh, no. Missed okay. It. All right. Cool. My dice are not helping me today. <laughs> All right. Okay. Either way, we got paperwork that we can present to a lawyer, show that there's proof there's premeditated murder about to happen. 
and we can get this looked at. Well, yeah, but we're also all the way up here in Danvers. So, and there's two days before he's going to die. Honestly, Hank, do you think that the lawyers are going to work that fast? I think we're going to have to take matters into our own hands here. It's really just to add up. I mean, I, I, if anything, I, I got, other than the, they seem way too worked up over Larry freaking out over this water, I, I, I don't know. The document's weird, but I mean, maybe this, maybe we should just ask him about it. Maybe there's a reason this paperwork got drawn up this way. Someone screwing around or just straight up mistakes. A straight you up really? mistake where they put up a future date as well as where to bury him. Yeah, do you really think, come on, Donnie, you really think that they made a mistake? You think that Dr. Berger's on the level? You think anything about this place is actually on the level? I mean, come on, look around. This thing is, this place is, is just giving me the creeps now. I'm hearing voices in my head. I don't know. Either way, let's just get the hell out of here, and then we can get Alton and Ophelia. We can get all of our resources put together. We can find out what we're going to do next. You guys don't want to visit Larry? See if he's doing any, how he's doing today? Well, no. This place know. is really getting to you, huh? Well, my gut tells me if we go down there with those orderlies, remember what happened yesterday? They almost, they they almost, got, into, they almost got into a fight with us. Yeah, they didn't look real friendly. I'll tell you what, you guys are feeling this, un, you know, unsure about it. Then, yeah, let's walk back and see if maybe we can catch up with Alton and Ophelia early enough to do something with these documents. I'm, I'm with you on this. At least, yeah. at least that, but I am unfortunately on Alex's side again. We're, we're going to have to do this ourselves. And I don't think Larry's in imminent danger. They, they mentioned shock treatment, but they're not absolutely ready to use it. They're just starting to consider it. Yeah, well, he's got two days. We got two days, basically, right? According to this. According to this, yeah. I don't think, I think that when, I think when, when Ophelia and Alton get back, we're not going anywhere. I'll call the lawyer. We'll get that whole thing you know, moving forward. But we're not going anywhere. And I think right. we, we got we to gotta figure this out. Well, maybe they found out something about what he was, what he was looking at here or previously. Uh, supposedly, he had been out in Iowa when uh, he, get, he started getting pretty excited. Uh, did he mention anything to you guys about uh, Villisca, Iowa? No. Okay. No. Okay. Not that I recall. Are you guys going to head out then? As I walk out, I flick my cigar button to the pond. <laughs> okay. Uh, it goes in. <laughs> you know, and uh, when it hits, uh, you know, you can tell that the unnatural blue is not like an algae because it doesn't stretch. It looks like it's the whole pond is probably that, that color, all the water. Well, one thing that I, before I leave, one thing I kind of turn to Donnie and say, you got access to everywhere here, right? I think, think? We can get, I think we can get just about anywhere, although it may not be free reign. Someone's likely to go with us if we go into some of the higher security areas. Well, that's only for safety precautions. They probably look at it for our protection and for theirs, yeah. Yeah. Or, or, of the patients. Well, as well as ours. ours. Well, we have that one patient that obviously like tried to try to separate my head from my body. Right? Oh my gosh. He was so confused. I, I talked to him. I went back to his room and actually looked at some of his art. I think, uh, as a matter of fact, was it, was he, uh, who was it? It was Alton let's, that it, it, let's he had drawn. Let's walk and talk. Yeah. yeah. He drawn a picture of Alton and put, he put him in a straight jacket <laughs> and he had mentioned, yeah. Alton in a straight jacket. Yeah. What? He said sometimes he just sees these kinds of things in his mind. But his his artistic ability was pretty good. Uh, he had a... Uh, what the, the in the straight jacket is? What's that? 
it wouldn't have been a Venetian straight jacket, would it? Uh, I'm not certain. Because a straight jacket would just not be fashionable enough for Alton. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, Alton and Ophelia, what, what, you guys uh, get, had a tasty dinner, uh, lunch and everything? Yeah. And uh, we've uh, c- oh, continued was, our drive back. That okay. was a very good meal. You know how to treat me, Alton. I ate way too much food. This, this jacket feels like it's binding me all over. <laughs> uh, you guys... <laughs> Sorry, you guys make it back to uh, Danvers without, without any issue. Mm. That's your destination. And the boys aren't back yet. They should be back soon, though. Unless yes, they're maybe. locked up with Larry. Well, we might as well just wait. We we might as well just wait inside, maybe. Mm-hmm. We'll be concerned if it gets dark and they're not back. Yeah, we 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 can we can worry about that when it comes to it, Alton. I'd rather have a nice cup of tea. Okay. All right, we'll go inside. Yep. So they, uh, you go inside. Uh, Angela's is there. She's like going, oh, uh, uh, back, back uh, uh, again. I uh, hope you find our city as uh, wonderful as I do. Well, yes, we'll be staying again tonight. Oh, of yes. course you will. Our yes. stuff is still up in the room, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, you would have been charged either way. It's well past checkout time. How far is it to Salem from here? Half an oh, hour? Yeah. Yeah, half an hour. Right. Yeah. Let's see. You don't by chance have um, phone book listings for various towns, let's say Salem. Oh, yes, yes. We we have it. They're, they're close enough, you know. Hmm. Yeah, I, she, gets you, yep, she gets you one sheet of paper. No, she gets you the phone book. <laughs> Angela, you don't happen to uh, know uh, the guy who used to run the Dr. 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 Shine, Dr. Dr. William Shine. Oh, Dr. Dr. Shine, God rest his soul. Yeah, he was a good man. Yes, I'm not going to find him in the <laughs> book. Never mind, I don't need the phone book. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh-huh. We were hoping Dr. Shine was still alive. Oh no, he passed. He passed away about uh, about eight, eight, eight or nine years ago. Yeah. Oh, that long ago. Yes, heart attack. Tell me, Miss uh, Angela. Uh, we read somewhere that there was a large piece of artwork on the Danvers uh, property that it had been demolished to put in an amphitheater. Oh, yes. A waste of a waste of taxpayers' money putting in an amphitheater. What do crazy people need to look at besides the, their own padded cells? But, you know, uh, who was I to argue? We, we've got a lot of uh, state and federal money to maintain that, that uh a facility, but I am a taxpayer. Well, I suppose the same was said probably about the, the work of art. I, I'm just curious oh, if there, yes. if you've seen any pictures of it or... Oh, of the amphitheater? Or, no, 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 uh, of the, the work of art that was there previously. Oh, uh, me? Uh, no, but uh, I, I'm sure there was pictures taken. I, I was, uh, you know, not interested in in what Doctor Shine. He's he of course uh, redeemed himself through his uh, ability to uh, you know turn that 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 is the uh, hospital around. But yes, hmm. um, I should just thought of something. Does Danvers by chance have a historical society? Oh yes, of course we do. Ah, huh. well, I should like to know where they're located. Well, oh. Yeah. I get the I get phone it. book back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, let me dig it back out. Yep. So, uh, yeah, they... Do, 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 do. Yep, they, it has the address. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Oh, perhaps that's another way we can try Ophelia. Um, yes, definitely. It might be of use. I don't 
know what this is, how this is going to help. Hopefully the boys will have more luck than we did. Hopefully. We can only dream. Oh. Well, anything else? Uh, unfortunately, dinner will not be until the usual time, you know, at five, just like yesterday. Of, of course. Uh, but we'll just sit down here and drink some tea. Yes, definitely. A cup of tea. Oh, okay. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. She kind of uh, saunters off. <laughs> so we're just going to sit there quietly until uh, the others show up. Yeah. All right. Yes. All right. Hank, uh, Donnie, and Alex, uh, do you head back to the smokehouse? Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Go back. Okay. So uh, you um, you make it da- back down there, and as you come in, you see uh, Ophelia uh, suck, uh, drinking her lovely tea, and Alton over there smoking his cigarette. <laughs> Boys? Ah, gentlemen. Oh, I'm glad uh, to see that you weren't locked up with the other inmates. Well, not uh, yet, anyway. <laughs> How was your horrifying day? We had a lovely day. Well, we found out something uh, about our dear, our, our dear friend Larry. It's uh, quite interesting. What's that? Well, apparently he's going to be dead in a few days. What? What do you mean? Mm-hmm. Show him, Hank. Pull out the papers. What? He told us he was afraid. Of papers, present them. But you know, those were found in his records. In the records. It sounds to me like they are planning on killing him, and covering up the creating an alibi by having the paperwork already there in place. Yeah. Uh, this is this has now become quite criminal. They'll faint. Very. Did you get pictures? We unfortunately did not get that far. Um, quite mm-hmm. honestly, we did not want to be there for much longer. Well, I, we did find out what Larry was working on. Apparently, the previous doctor, a Dr. William Shine, um, was quite successful as a doctor. But the hospital previous to him was in a bad state. Uh, Dr. Shine showed up and apparently constructed a large artwork at the edge of the uh, the property where the amphitheater is now. And that recently, uh, Dr. Berger had the artwork removed and the amphitheater built at the expense of the uh, at the expense of the the public. But I'm Very thinking. Nice. I'm trying to obtain a picture of the artwork. Um, the doctor, Doctor Shine, apparently said that it was very lucky. Hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm. It's okay. odd. It's odd that that's what he was working on. Perhaps, perhaps Larry was trying to find similar information on this lucky piece of artwork. Hmm. How, how was your day? Did, did you, what, what else did you find? You said something about the lake? Ah, uh, yes, the uh, pond. Uh, uh, um, rather not talk about it. Myself, there's, but, uh, there's something not quite right with the pond, or I don't hmm. think this is going to be of any surprise to anybody here, but there's something just not right. I, I lower my voice a little bit. There's just not something that's just not right about anything here. Hmm. And the pond, there's something definitely nefarious. I would dare even say uh, poten- potentially criminal, uh, hidden in that right. pond. I think they're hiding bodies in the pond. Could be. Um, I wonder if we could do more research to find out what their, um, what do you call it, the rate at which people die. The king? Their mortality. mortality the mortality, mortality rate. Because from what I understood, prior to this Dr. Shine, it was deplorable. The state re- 
holds all of that information. Uh, and they would be able to tell us how many people, they call it a census count for the buildings. And they would be able to tell us mm. how many people came in and out and you know, in, un unfortunately what methods they took to go out of the building. So if they died. Mm. Ghastly. And what was that you said about being attacked? Uh, yes, we were uh, making our way out of the records and uh, we were attacked apparently by somebody who fancies you in a straight jacket. <laughs> Isn't Alton. Uh, uh, Alton, I, I wouldn't think too much of it. It was. Uh, no, I, uh, I would like to see that very much. The, uh, Alton, you the, have an admirer. The, 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 the artwork actually w what was, was actually well done. I, he, he couldn't quite tell me uh, why he put you on a street jacket in the picture, but... Oh, uh, is, this, is this the frog boy? Yes. As a matter of fact, he had a picture of the, uh, of the frog. Did you see that frog? The, the, an actual image of the frog? We saw a picture at Larry's of the demolition of the artwork. And one of the people holding a piece of the broken disc that this was, was that man. Really? Yes, it was very spooky. Well, that so, man is an artist. He has genuine artistic ability. Uh, well, he, 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 now, now the frog though, the, I, mean, I, I need to know about this frog. Because he told me the frog is what told him that that Alex and Hank were going to be at the room they were at exactly when and to go and get them and to find out what they were doing. It came to him in a dream. Some sort of frog with uh, a, a bunch of eyes and, and wings. What the he, showed me a picture, he showed me a picture of the hideous thing. I saw a picture, the picture he was drawing the other day. He is a lunatic, you know. You're sounding insane, Donnie. Uh, well, well, and you say that he I did not beforehand. have the vision. He showed me. He showed me the image that he created. But but you you understand that if he attacked you, if he attacked them as they were coming out, and then claims that he had a dream about it, we don't know that that's true. Obviously. Oh, certainly. Oh, the the, the idea that this would be some sort of true premonition, but with uh, I maybe mean, in his mind, he thought that he thought about it absolutely that he absolutely. had deja vu we, uh, i've been having a lot of deja vu lately haven't you i've no. had a little deja vu You're i can right. tell you one other thing we, i saw when i was over there somebody's messing with the mural upstairs in uh dr burger's office when the we left that saint george yeah the twisted saint george mural up there do you guys remember what the dragon was going after? Well, yeah, yeah. It was tearing out uh, yeah. the horse's entrails. Yeah, yeah. It ain't anymore. It's, it's going after George and the horse is over to the side. The whole the damn picture's changed. Like someone's been up there and repainted it since yesterday. Well, it was quite bizarre. Perhaps we missed... No, we didn't. No, we know what we you... saw. Was... Yeah. It was that's quite vivid. Just... That's why I let you describe it first. Yeah. Something there was something strange. Thing. What's that, Hank? When we were waiting in the lobby, the little bit that I found under the paint, the dried blood that was drawn and painted over. The, you, fairly you recently. found blood on the walls? What? Blood? Uh, well, wait, 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 wait. Dried, it, rusty. It, 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 it is an institution. Accidents happen. They do paint over things but like that. Was, but in the lobby? It was in the lobby where no patients should possibly be. So here's... It was here's a drawn. It wasn't smeared. It wasn't rubbed. So as I'm hearing all this, I'm thinking, and you know, I believe me, I know this is going to sound crazy because I was hearing voices in my head earlier today, but bear with me. Maybe these patients aren't patients after all. There's something about this whole thing with Dr. Berger 
and now this artist and now I'm putting this piece together if that artist was part of this whole kind of construction of the amphitheater I mean how insane is this guy I, I just why would he be locked up why would he be a patient and be in a photograph or, or in an article and right. I don't know it all seems kind of strange doesn't, doesn't uh, it? we have to assume that the people who are locked up in an institution such as that are in fact insane it's, right so then why would they but why would they actually, why would this guy be actually... Well, you you ask a question that we couldn't find out unless we went through the records. And you're not going to look up the records of every single person that's in the, in the hospital. No, but that, that man is still alive. And that man, according to what we're actually seeing here is, or what you've come across, Alton, is he helped, he was involved in the construction or something of this amphitheater. So why would a, a patient be locked up and still be asked to actually go build an amphitheater or put this thing together? Or well, that would have been eight or nine years ago, yes? Yeah. At least. So mm. maybe he went insane in the interim. I don't know. Maybe something happened, but this is far too bizarre for me. I'd, in any case, we were, we were planning on going to Salem tomorrow and, and looking up a Dr. Shine, but apparently he's dead. Uh, he was the previous doctor. Uh, and o Ophelia, you're sipping tea, right? Yeah. So uh, as you bring the tea up to, up to you, you look down, and as you bring it up to your lips, this uh, lizard actually comes out and makes a snap at your at your lips. And you can give me a sanity roll. <laughs> you drop your tea. Yeah, I dropped my tea. And I failed. Okay. Uh, 1d4. Mm. Four. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, so you drop your T as, it, it, as she screams and it falls ah! and it hits. The T actually kind of splashes out and it is the same blue as the pond. Uh. And that, that, that'll be where we uh, end it. We all see the blue T? Yep. We all see the blue tea. Oh, I'm telling you guys. Holy <laughs> crap. Why something is not ended, right here. It's ended with me screaming. Yeah, every <laughs> time. I know. <laughs> it, it seems ah! pity. Ophelia, ah! <laughs> you're just a drama queen. <laughs> I am our scream queen, Ophelia. You're our scream queen. <laughs> our players included Josh Harwood, Fred Carter, Harish Rao, uh, Jeff Beck and myself with Keith Craig as the Keeper of the Secrets. We're currently producing up to five shows a week with music and sound effects added in post-production in order to create a richer listener experience. We provide audio-only versions of our shows free for you to download from Podbean or iTunes. The costs involved with the show are provided almost entirely by our patrons. Without them, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. If you'd like to help support our show, please visit our Patreon account. Just a dollar to a month helps us a lot. You can find a link in the description below. Like, share, and subscribe uh, to our channel and punch that bell icon for updates on our latest shows and leave us some comments. We enjoy reading them and answering any questions you might have. This is Tom Rayleigh together with all the members of our gaming club inviting you to journey with us once again into the darkness for another adventure into the universe of H.P. Lovecraft and the Call of Cthulhu role-playing game. Until next time, good luck and good gaming. Good gaming.